Okay, folks, gotta go pay at the bill at the parts store. Hey, folks, this is Mike from KEI Fabrication. This is my LS swapped Mazda B2200. Alright, now we got a design chair. I can do some highly classified scientific calculations. Alright folks, so we're continuing in the modifications of the car trailer and I'll show you the reason why when it's a little more complete. But I'm using the trailer as a fixture to put another cross member way out front here. This is all going to be bolt on, it's all temporary. So um, I'll show you what I'm up to in just a few minutes. Figured it out by now, but uh, what I got going on here is 
this cross member is supporting some extensions so the rear wheels or the front wheels of another vehicle can come forward here and I have a towing job that is one regular size vehicle and one tractor that is going to be up here and uh, so I'm going to put the rear wheels of the lighter vehicle up here the rear end of the vehicle so it's the lightest end and the regular car towards the back hopefully you'll see all that if this works out what that was all about. I have some of this 10 inch by one inch, one and a half inch channel iron. So that's going to act as a ramp. So I've had just about every weapon of mass destruction out today. Sometimes you wonder what the right tool for the job is. Sometimes the answer is all of them. So I made this for you so you folks can keep an eye on me. What I'm doing here is originally I was going to weld these little short ramps right to my extension but it's already pretty heavy and awkward so what I did was I just tacked a little one inch long flange here and I will weld two pins in the removable section and there'll be two receiving holes so when you drive up on it or when you're winching it up it won't kick out. Alright folks there it is it's uh, almost ready for a test run I ran into a couple of unforeseen problems I had to make a little extension for my winch so it cleared the crossbar and I knew the jack handle was going to be in the way I don't know if you can see it but I welded a socket on there so when it flips up I just put an extension on it and I can wind the trailer up and down it's a little bit of an inconvenience but it's only when this is in use and <coughs> I welded some pins on these so they're removable. If I welded these on permanent, this extension would be uh, just unmanageable. So, uh, so anyway, like I say, a little bit of uh, a challenge here and there. Welded the stops in so the wheels won't run over. Um, it's fully welded. It's 
fully bolted in both sides so there's only one thing left to do and that is load up all right folks it's the next day getting ready to load up the vehicles to test my contraption here I didn't think it would take all that much time to whip that up by the time I got done fabricating it finish welding it addressing the issues that it caused like the clearance for the winch and everything I've got well over 12 hours into it and um, just getting around to test it now so again the reason why I wanted to do that is I have two vehicles that I need to tow one of them is this doodle bug which is a very short wheelbase vehicle and the good news is is that there's nothing that sticks out in front or beyond the front tires and everything is flush with the rear tires except for the little hitch there so when I put it up on the ramps it's not going to be too close to the trailer and if I do jackknife it maybe the tire would touch the truck but I've already jackknifed it pretty good and those extensions I put on stay away from the truck so first order of business is getting this out and around the corner of the tractor shed here and I'll see what I need to do to get that out there without making too much noise. So if you're trying to be quiet about things, you might as well use an electric tractor, yes? Let's see how it works out.
loaded up. We're all strapped down. I got the load equalizers on the front end of the trailer. I'm about to go for a test drive and we'll let you know how it goes. Well, we just did a 200 mile trip to deliver these and it was a successful trip. Really didn't have too many problems. And we're just getting ready to unload everything. So my little extension here off the front of the trailer worked quite nicely. Just had to clean the points up. There's some gas in the tank. Started right up. It's the first time this thing's been started in two years. Drove off the trailer.